Well, I'm here to talk about the three things that we need to build a better climate future. Those are facts, feelings, and action. That's what we need to link to solve and actually start to heal the climate crisis. So for each of these three areas, I'm gonna tell you about five key takeaways that can get you ready to act and to take high impact and meaningful climate action. First, let's start with the facts. What we know from science is this, it's warming, it's us, we are sure, it's bad, we can fix it. This is what science tells us overwhelmingly, and this is what the world's governments have also confirmed and agreed to in international climate negotiations. So we know that humans do have the power to stop global warming and to start healing its damage. To stop warming, we have to do two things. We need to leave fossil fuels in the ground and we need to work with rather than destroy nature. Simple but not easy. So how will we do that? Well, the next step is feelings. Harnessing the power of our feelings can be a crucible to create meaning in the climate crisis. Our feelings can point out to us what our values are. They help clarify what really matters to us. And I describe this as a five-step journey I call radical climate acceptance. Those five steps are ignorance, avoidance, doom, all the feels, and purpose. Going from ignorance, where we need to learn about the urgency and severity of the climate crisis, many people end up in avoidance as a way to cope with feeling overwhelmed. And often the next step after that is doom, where we feel like we've fallen down a dark hole and feel helpless and overwhelmed again. But there is a way out through doom. It's through all the feels. And that's how we can get from doom to purpose. So paying attention to our climate feelings tells us what really matters to us, and it helps us align our actions with our values. That's where we're in purpose. And that's where we can be of service and figure out what it is that we have the unique ability to contribute to in the climate crisis. So we've got the facts on our side. We are finding our way through all the climate feels. Now it's time to take action. In our research, we've identified five climate superpowers that many of us have and many of us are not using effectively. There's so much potential that we could be taking high impact climate action that we're just not doing today. So in research led by Christian Nielsen, we found these five climate superpowers are as consumers, as professionals, as role models, investors, and as citizens. Let me take you through them and talk about what we can do that really makes a difference in each of these areas. As consumers, we have just a few areas where we can make the biggest difference, and that's by going flight, car, and meat-free. For those of us who are high emitters, flying is about 40% of our carbon footprint and driving about 20%. So those are the biggest ways to cut our footprint quickly. And at choosing a plant-based diet, a healthy and sustainable diet, is also the, a big win for the climate and for biodiversity. We know that we, it's not everyone who needs to take these actions. In fact, about 90% of people on earth don't need to focus on their carbon footprint. But for those of us who are in the top 10%, we emit about half of household climate pollution and our personal choices there do make a really big difference. So we do need to address overconsumption as well as hold governments and businesses accountable, which we'll talk about under the other steps. Second, as professionals. There we need to uh, do two things. Businesses need to measure and reduce their emissions. And there it's really important to set a goal of being fossil free. What we see in research is that goals like net zero and climate neutral tend to incentivize accounting that makes it look good on paper, but doesn't lead to real reductions. So it's important to set these ambitious goals. And secondly, what we can do as professionals is use our skills for climate action. So Project Drawdown has a guide to climate solutions at work for how you, as whatever you are in your role as a professional, can actually take high impact action and make every job a climate job. Third is what we can do as role models. We know that behaviors are contagious and it's really important to lead by example. For example, research has shown that if you get solar panels, your neighbors are much more likely to get solar panels as well. And by leading by example, by talking about it, by creating space for having climate conversations, we are helping to galvanize broader social and cultural change. 
the charity climate outreach has a great guide on talking climate, uh, talking climate handbook. And some of the most important things there are to ask questions and to listen. So you don't have to know all the answers, but you need to create space for climate conversations. The third role is as an investor, and that's investing both our money and our time. It's really important that we take our money out of climate pollution and invest in solutions. And that has to do with our banks, our pension funds, uh, any investments and in funds that we have. There, it's so critical that we're not supporting uh, climate destruction and building out more fossil infrastructure with our hard earned money. It's also important to donate and support if we have the time or resources, groups and charities that are working on climate action. Fifth, we have the role as climate citizens and there that's where we can make the biggest difference for policy. So that's where number one, the most effective climate action has, that influences policy is to vote. Make sure that we vote, that we get our friends out to vote, that we galvanize the climate vote and vote for politicians who have strong climate policies. Women have actually been shown voting for women is a strong climate action that reduces emissions. Second is joining organizations and uh, political parties who support bold climate action. Contacting your rep directly so that they hear from you, uh, getting media attention and participating in climate protests have all been shown to be effective climate citizen actions. So those are how we can link facts, feelings, and action. You have your five climate superpowers as a consumer, as a professional, a role model, investor, and as a citizen. And if you focus on these high impact actions in each of these roles and actually get started today, take even 20 minutes per day to make climate action a regular part of our life, it can be truly transformative. And this is what we need to take action, to not wait, to let these last precious moments uh, that we have available to us to avert climate catastrophe, to really seize these moments, because this is what will make the critical difference in the next critical months and years for the climate. Thank you so much.